What's up? Welcome back to the Rolling Grill Barbecue Show. Today we got some good stuff coming up. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna tell you what we got coming up, but I will tell you what we're cooking with. We're cooking with my new seasoning, QQ Dust. And what we got coming up, we're going to the country with it, baby. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be some QQ delicious barbecue. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah, boy. This is going to be simple, simple, simple process as far as the prep goes. Uh, the cook will be a little intense, but the prep is going to be real, real, real laid back. So, let me walk you through what we have. Water. This is what we're going to use to brine with. We got water. We got some ponzu. Ponzu is, this is a lemon ponzu. Good flavor, good salt. It's just a good overall soy sauce um, that you can really do some good stuff with, especially when it comes to like uh, brining. Uh, different meats, different cuts of meats. A little cayenne pepper and some salt. Just to add to the salt that's already in this. So, first step first. Let's put some salt in here. I don't know how much that is. That's probably about, I don't know. We'll say it's a half a cup. Let's go with some cayenne pepper. Gotta have a little heat. That's probably about a half a teaspoon. Ponzu, good stuff. Really good on sushi and dumplings. We're gonna shake a lot of it in there, man. We're gonna shake it in there, because it has good flavor. It's like really good, really good. It's probably some of the best soy sauce you can get. I don't know how much it is. That may be a cup, maybe close to a cup. So we'll say about a cup of ponzu, maybe about a half a cup of uh, natural sea salt and just about you know a little less than a teaspoon of cayenne pepper but the star of the show today i told you we're going to the country today rabbit and i've got two of them right here two rabbits they're still pretty much frozen and that's cool because we're gonna brine them so that's what we're cooking today y'all we're doing qq cast iron rabbit here on the rolling grill barbecue show so i'm just a uh, simple process i'm just throwing on this brine this one's still pretty much frozen, and I'm gonna let them walk it on out in this brine. I'm probably leaving them in this brine for probably about, maybe about four hours or so. Maybe about four hours or so, and then we'll take the next step. Next step's gonna be oiling them down, seasoning them up, putting them on this drum smoker, and off we go, baby. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. My rabbit has brined for about four hours. I left it in there for about four good hours. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take it out, drain it out when they process it you can they just cut it down the middle gutted it up pretty much they still left the breast intact i'm not gonna do anything to it right now i'm just gonna leave it leave it be just like it is allow it to drain on this uh on this rack and then we'll get the season and do our next step stay tuned all right guys we lit all right so i've taken these out of the brine i've allowed them to uh you know dry out a little air dry a little bit on this rack drop as much moisture as they can so this is what we're gonna do. It's gonna be real simple. At the bottom portion of these, these rabbits, they're already butterflied out. I'm not gonna touch that. The breastbone, I'm gonna actually leave in place because they don't really have a lot of breast mass and I don't wanna dry it out as fast. So what I'm gonna do is stick a piece of onion in there. And I'm gonna do that to both of them. Hit them with a little olive oil all over. Both sides. I got my grill going right now. I'm gonna throw them in this grill. No uh, dry wood, just basically just all lump, lump hard wood. My plan is just to allow them to get some good, uh, some good heat and some good smoke for probably about a good 30 to 40 minutes and then that's it. I'm gonna use my QQ dust right here as a seasoning. I already have some in this shaker right here. And that's what I'm going in with all over. This is the first step in the whole process. Put my onion back in there, of course. Flip it over. And I'm gonna do it to both of them. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the running rabbit style. 
You know, when you do a whole hog, you put them in the running man style. This is kind of the same thing. Back hind quarters laid out, sitting up high. All right, let's do the same thing with this second one. And we're going to season them inside and out. All right. All right, we're going to put our onion back in. And same deal with this one. Running man style. That's how they going in the pit. Just like that. And I'm going to leave them on this rack right here. And they're going in the pit like this. So let me get my temperature right on this pit. And we'll be dropping them on the pit soon. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, it's go time. Our pit is about 300, about 325 degrees. We're gonna leave them on the rack, running man style, running rabbit style. And that's how we're gonna let them roll. We're gonna let them roll like that for probably about, mm, maybe about 40 minutes. Again, we're just trying to blast some good uh, char flavor into them, and then we're gonna go on to the next step, y'all. Get ready, it's gonna be some good eating right here. Bruh rabbit, that's what's for dinner. All right, I'm on the hand. That's what we're looking at right there. It's probably been about, eh, maybe about 25 minutes. I'm gonna hit them with some of this pan cooking spray just to, just to make sure they ain't getting dry. But they look good. We are gonna let them roll probably about another 25 minutes. I may go an hour on them. My, my plan is not to cook them this way in here, though. It's just the first step. So y'all hang on in there with me. Yeah, boy. All right. It has been about an hour and 20 minutes. We are getting ready to take off the rabbit and move to step two. Let's see if we can get a little closer and see what we're working with. Man, it looks pretty good, man. You can see the back portion where the loin, where the loins usually sit. It's still nice and juicy. It's not dried out yet. You know, that's quick to dry out. They look really good. They smell really good, too. So let's keep it moving. Let's not waste no time. So this is what's going to happen. The pit is hot. It's probably still at about 350. This is coming out. Cast iron skillet is going in. About a tablespoon and a half of butter is going in. One of those rabbits we're going to save and we're gonna smother later. So we're gonna do like a smoke smothered rabbit. But for this one right here, we're going to braise it. So we're gonna do like a smoke braised rabbit, a such and such or something like that. So, you know, we're playing with our food, man. But I, we got a plan, but we're still playing with our food. So we're gonna let this butter melt up real nice and pretty. And we'll be right back to step two, y'all stay tuned. All right, our butter is melting. Step two, aromatics. We got some red onion, we got some garlic. We got some carrot and we have some chopped parsley. All that's going on at the same time. All right. This pan is very, very hot. Next step. Again, we're cooking everything on the pit. This is the next step. One of our beautiful rabbits is going in the pan in the cast iron all right what's next chicken stock we're gonna put a little bit of chicken stock in there enough to cover up maybe uh the vegetables halfway and that's all we need we're gonna take our foil we're gonna wrap it up I bust this foil. So I'm gonna get another piece of foil. We're gonna wrap it up and we'll go on step two. All right. We're just gonna double foil it. So we're gonna double foil it. Make sure it's tight. You don't want the steam to escape. Put our lid back on. And we're gonna continue the cooking process. Y'all stay cooking process rather y'all stay tuned. All right, I think our rabbit is ready. I already took a peek at it, but let's do the unveiling. Voila, there it is. It has steamed out a little bit in the pan. 
You can see you're starting to get some separation on the leg over here, but she, it's super tender. So, next step, coming right up. It's rabbit, baby, whole rabbit. Right here on the Rolling Grill Barbecue Show. All right, guys, we're ready to go now. Our rabbit is ready, I let it cool. I let it rest for probably about 20, 25 minutes. And there it is, in the running man style. But guess what, we're gonna make some pool rabbit sandwiches. Some fancy man sandwiches, man, it's football season. It's football season, so you gotta get ready, man. And this is, you know, you can use chicken, and you can use this in place of chicken if you're tired of eating boring chicken sandwiches. Or, you know, of course, you can use this in place of pork or whatever. Rabbit is pretty good, it's lean, but the way we're going to moisten this rabbit up is by using a lot of the drippings that I added as well as uh, some of the moisture that came from the rabbit. So I'm just going to break up the hind quarter legs, take out a little bit of the loin meat, and uh, we'll get started. We're going to move the rabbit on over to the side. We're just going to take it, pull it like you would do any kind of pulled chicken. Mix it up with a lot of the juices that's in there. I added, remember, remember I added chicken stock. And here we go, man. Here we go. Football season, man, get ready. You know, sometimes you want something different other than chicken. So hell, why not do some pulled rabbit? Live fire, cooked over live fire wood. Definitely something that will get your guests oohing and on, get your tailgate party popping. All right, we're gonna do three of them, man. Why not? These are little slider buns, so you know they can be a pain in the you know what to get you get everything on there. But let's get that out of the way. All right, folks. All right, let's go ahead and build our sandwiches. We got a spicy coleslaw here. It's actually a spicy. Um, coleslaw I mixed up I chopped up some fresh arugula and added that to it to give it a little bit of pepper a little peppery bite it's got a few other secret ingredients in there I'm gonna do a video on that uh, coming up soon as well it's not sweet it's kind of on the savory side oh so we got one falling down that's all right we're gonna stack him right back up there and if you wanted to, of course, you could press it down, but I'm not much for the press sandwiches. I like my stuff to sit up high. So we got our beautiful open face uh, pulled rabbit sandwiches. We're gonna take a few pickle red onions and lay up top. I'm gonna also do a video on pickling some nice onions as well. I add a lot of different stuff to my pickle red onions. I don't just make the, the, the basic uh, sugar and vinegar. It's got a little something extra into it that makes them great. And lastly, I do some pickled cucumbers. And we'll add one of those to the top. The pickling vegetables are gonna, is gonna add a great punch of flavor to this rabbit. That can be kind of, you know, nah, I wanna say gamey, but it can be kind of rich in flavor. Much richer than chicken. And so there we have it. There we have it, good folks. Our pulled rabbit sliders. Yeah, boy. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Hey, look here. That's some good eating right there, man. That's some good eating right there. The one in the middle is sauce with barbecue sauce, of course. The two on the end, straight pickling, pickled uh, onions, pickled cucumbers, and a beautiful spicy uh, arugula coleslaw. Beautiful, man. So you know we gotta try it. This is football food. Sliders is football food, but you get tired of chicken. Kick it up with some rabbit if you can find it. That's dynamite, man. Mm. Definitely brine the rabbit. You could taste that ponzu, and you could taste the seasoning deep in that rabbit. I would definitely, definitely, definitely brine it. But man, this is some good eating, man. 
Oh. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I got stuff falling on my mouth and everything. So, as always, man, thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for watching my videos, man. I appreciate that. And as always, good food, good vibe. Peace! Mm. <laughs>